What's up guys, it's Chris here. Two days post-surgery from getting my gallbladder sucked out of my belly button. Fun stuff. If you've been following me on Twitter or other social medias, you would know that. But in this video, we're gonna talk about how VV over the past year or so has been sending Omi and collectibles to Discord mods as a form of payment. There's a lot of uproar over this right now. Some people don't care, some people care a lot. We're gonna look at a very objective view of everything. And at the very end, I will give my opinion. Feel free to leave your opinion down in the comments. I've just seen a lot of posts and a lot of videos not giving all sides, not giving the pros and the cons. I've just seen one or the other. So in this video, my point here is to try to be able to compile everything in one video. By the way, I don't know if you see it glimmering behind me, but it finally came in the vv light now i can only say good things about vv no i'm just kidding i'm always objective i uh, always will be objective and i do love vv so i'm not here to attack i'm not here to defend i'm here to report as a user and a consumer sometimes that'd be good sometimes it'd be bad let's see what this video is and again i would love to hear your thoughts after this video okay again i'm going to try to cover all sides of this first and foremost just for proof on the transactions vv vault did just do a live it's under live vv Discord discord mod wallets revealed battling view vault fud blah 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 watch the first half of it to be able to see all the transactions uh the first half was a little bit more drama induced uh, i would recommend if you're looking at this video to go look at the specific transfers it is on the blockchain if you follow my channel i have always been a big advocate of the blockchain being able to follow uh, be able to prove transactions so this isn't new i've always been big at pointing to a muta scan at the end of the day so far, there is no dispute towards whether these grails, so it was like Waltz, uh, it was um, Miles Morales Spider-Man's, the rarest edition. Uh, it was some big collectibles and uh, Omi. And again, Vault proved the transactions there because somebody in the background uh, was sending him the actual wallets. So the reason we're not gonna pick apart all the wallets in this video, one, that's not what this video is about, uh, but two, it, it's already been done and I would have to go find somebody that could send me all the list of wallets. I do wanna highlight, and I'll talk about this later as I'm defending uh, the mods, is that I don't really put any of the mods at fault for any of this. Um, I have honestly not a strong opinion about any of it. I'm just presenting the facts. Uh, but yeah, I don't like uh, attacking the mods. Uh, Granola ended up deleting his Twitter, I believe, uh, Granola Warfare. Uh, he's done a lot for the community. Um, before VV Vault, or before me, or before any other content creators were putting the information on YouTube, uh, Granola Warfare was putting the information on how to get drops and just about VV over Reddit threads. Uh, he's made a lot of people a lot of money. Um, so just for him to get uh, attacked for being rewarded, you know, I don't really know how I feel about that, but again, we'll talk more about that at the end of the video. So at the end of the day, uh, there were pretty significant collectibles being sent out, uh, ultra rare Darth Vader. And here's the problem with that, that Sam Ellis highlighted a lot, is that the money being rewarded to these people, the ones that are specifically uh, liquidating in order to receive payment, which is understandable, um, is not money coming from VV, it's money coming from the secondary market. And whose money is it in the secondary market? Well, it, it's our money. Uh, it's the money of investors that are coming from the secondary because essentially you're taking a zero sum item because it wasn't paid for and you're sticking it in the market and taking that liquidity out to pay that person. Uh, in my eyes, it's kind of like the tipping system, at least in the United States, to where a waiter might get paid you know, $2.50 an hour but kind of expect the person that's being served to pay the waiter. While I am huge on tipping, um, I always tip over the amount required. It still doesn't sit well with me at the end of the day that their employer, as an employer, that their employer is not paying them, but they're kind of expecting others to pay them, at least the base wage. Um, that's kind of what it reminds me of, but I don't know, maybe that's a stretch example. There's a lot of angles on this, you know, um, is this similar to building equity and getting stocks in a company? Um, is it, I, I don't know. And on top of that, they're also being paid Omi. So it sounds like they're getting paid a set amount. I think it ranges from 500 to 1500. So let's like take like $1,000 a month uh, for some of these Discord mods and they're getting the equivalent of that. So maybe they got a thousand worth of Omi this month. It would've been a lot different than a thousand dollars worth of Omi, you know, back in January. Same thing for the, some of these collectibles. Like I'm not saying that, you know, anybody received a Walt when Walt was worth 40K, but maybe now that Walt is worth 2K or whatever Walt's at right now, maybe it's, you know, building up for more forms of compensation also a lot of these discord mods are diamond handing you know they're holding it so that really doesn't matter at the end of the day and these are to be held back 
which brings us back to square one um where was the original transparency for this uh that's like one of my like few issues with the situation i think discord mods should be compensated i think it's okay and i'm not attacking them this is not about the discord mods at all in my opinion um they said that it was clear on discord at some point that uh this would be a form of compensation but just somewhere clear on the website on twitter anywhere um that this is happening would have probably just saved them from this headache honestly uh but you know again at the end of the day you know people are saying like well it's not your business but it kind of is your business because in a way you're you're kind of paying them um so yeah it is a little bit of our business and i do think this deserves to be talked about just for the confirmation of this stipend uh hello k actually did an interview with alex that i'm not sure has dropped yet uh, Alex confirmed that there's a stipend of gems that they get for working as mods. That gem amount you can choose to use as purchase collectibles or roll over to the next month. So that's what some people did is they probably rolled it over, rolled it over until they got a Walt or a ultra rare, you know, Spider-Man or whatever. These are examples of some of the roll-ups that were found out via the blockchain, which again, if this was just put out there somewhere uh, for people to see, I don't think it would have been a big deal, but for people to like dig through uh, a muta scan and find that somebody received an AF15 worth 1,900, a partner's worth 4,700, a Thor secret rare worth 230, blah, blah, blah. I don't think it would have been as big deal, but this was all discovered via Immutable X. And K just goes on basically to give the, the pros, the cons, what he thinks about the situation and leading up to the interview, which I'm not sure is out yet. If it is, definitely go check out that interview that he's gonna post with Alex talking about all of this. Here's where a very interesting part comes in. Uh, Cavell had a, a Twitter space that had like a 150 people in it yesterday one of Cavell's primary problems was similar to my problem was that it wasn't disclosed clearly apparently it's on discord where i mean i actually went through the discord and couldn't find it as a content creator um you have to disclose what you're being paid for a service especially like if you're not on payroll that is sponsored i don't know if this is different uh, whether it's because it's compensated in nfts or it's compensated in crypto but like if at the end of the day vv was like giving me something for these videos i would have to like put it in there that like hey this is sponsored by vv or that like point back to it that way you know that way if at any point i were to talk and i'm not saying all the discord mods did this but you know if at any point you influence somebody but you were being paid in that like that's kind of a gray area you get what i'm saying so like for me if i'm sponsored i have to say hey this is sponsored that way you know in the future if i'm holding that you know like oh that was gifted to him you know from that video so it is kind of odd how like um the branches of transparency are kind of gray again i'm not saying this to attack the discord mods at all i really like some discord mods i hate that they're being attacked from all of this i think just a clear version of transparency from the beginning would have been great uh, especially because it's coming out of the secondary market i think another big thing that people are going to respond with is like what about the vv logo cards what about the, the the light you know that i've just got after you know making content for two years um what about all that uh, i didn't get a logo you know so i can't speak on that um but yeah that's a similar situation um that i would feel like that's a little bit different because it was transparent that they gave out x amount of cards you know two people at an event i'm not saying i even have a problem with them rewarding mods with nfts or rewarding mods with uh omi um i just wish it had been transparent since the beginning uh that way we all knew that you know if Essentially, if I'm holding a Walt uh, or if I'm looking to buy a Walt, I see one get floored, then all that money, again, never stays on the secondary market if that mod is using that as a form of payment to get the money off from the NFT, you know, back into their pocket, which is understandable. You know, if I was doing a lot of work for Vivi and they paid me in NFTs and I needed those NFTs to support my, my well-being, I absolutely would floor those NFTs that I needed and take out the liquidity. The only thing is I feel like that would need to be disclosed to some level um but again I, I don't know the second thing that cavell's twitter space touched on was that where is the line drawn with like who gets these nfts and packages uh because there's a lot of influencers out there that haven't gotten anything that have done equal amounts of work uh a great example of this would be vivi fox she's not even monetized on youtube so she makes no revenue from youtube Granted, if she was monetized on YouTube, if you know anything about YouTube ads, it doesn't pay that much at all. Uh, nothing compared to the compensation stipends that the uh, Discord mods are getting. Um, you know, people think that YouTubers make videos for the ad revenue, but it's like at our level, you know, if you're just getting a couple thousand views at best, you're getting maybe five to eight dollars per thousand views, which 
you know, I could go work at my coffee shop and make that in less time than it takes to edit and film one of these videos. Um, anyways, all that being said, there's people doing works for the community, um, like Vivi Fox would be the best example, Omi Byrne, and uh, some other people that like I absolutely believe deserve this same level of compensation. Um, I did, again, I'm not, not attacking Discord mods, but it's like, where where are you picking and choosing? And maybe that's where it would have been better to be more clear up front, is like, who's getting this and why are they getting it? Is this a form of payment or is this a reward? Um, just transparency, you know? And at the end of the day, uh, Vivi is, I don't know if it's considered a startup still, um, but it's new and uh, they adapt and they adjust. Uh, I've actually just recently saw Dan Crothers announce something to where they're possibly adjusting something with the low mints, which isn't for this video, but uh, this is part of being early, is uh, being part of these growing pains, you know? And uh, you know, that's, at the end of the day, I don't really care that much, um, but this is a big deal to a lot of people. It's a big deal to the community. So I thought I would put just a video on it and like my slight opinion on it. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.